taking the field on the return. The Indians huddled up around Coach Watry, taking a head count before kickoff here. We're going to get set underway. The running backs for Frankfurt, Dallinghouse, and Schreiner are going to be interesting to watch. Dallinghouse being a sophomore and Schreiner's a junior, so Frankfurt's got some youth on their side. It's basically the same team that we saw when we took the drive up there last year, I think. Dress up. And Dollinghouse is kind of the up back standing on the 20 yard line. Back standing on the five yard line is number 22, Schreiner. And we're getting set for kickoff here at Miles Field. That everybody could join us. They fall off to a good 2 and 0 start. Alejandro Mate is getting ready to kick the football off, see if he can continue. He really improved in week two with all but one touchback on the kickoff. He gets everybody set. We're going to get set underway. 12 minutes on the clock, and here we go with kickoff. Kickoff sponsor styles fit us in more. Deep drive and kick going to be taken in the end zone. It's going to be a touchback just into the end zone. So Frankfurt will start first possession of the game at their own 15-yard line. So a good start for the Indians. That touchback is a heck of a weapon, Mike. Yeah, that touchback on that kickoff. Really nice. It, it controls a lot of the, of the field of play there on the kickoff. Gets them out there starting at the 15 every time rather than have to worry about a long return. Anthony Albertini said it nose guard. Our defensive end tonight is Grant Hutcherson and Hunter Pullman. Linebackers set is Colin Carlson, Caleb, or, uh, Kobe Spilbush, Caleb Pekka. A three linebacker set tonight. Braven Bourne and Adam Albertini is cornerbacks. All bunched in, set, hand off, off the right hand side. Hit immediately, wraps up and brought down for no gain on the play. Is number 21, Dollinghaus. Dollinghaus. Dollinghaus runs the ball. 155 pounds sophomore gets the, the carry. No gain on the play. It's going to bring up second and 10. So a good start for the Indians. No a, little look, a little different look to their defense. Uh, they must have watched a little bit of film and see that uh, maybe Frankfurt is primarily a rain running team. Now, Shotgun set, receiver set to the right and left, or excuse me, running back set right and left, a little fake end around, coming around this side, ripped down from the back side is Kobe Spielbush comes in there and rips him down for a one, two yard loss, say a three yard loss, clear back to the 11 and a half yard line. A little, and that pistol, Mike, a little misdirection, but it did not, Kobe Spielbush did not bite, he come in for the linebacker position, wrap that up for Three-yard loss. Yeah, running back on the right side, cut across behind the quarterback as he spun around behind him, made the handoff. There's kind of a misdirection play. Third and 14. Now two receivers, three receivers wide to the left. Shotgun formation is Busman. Here comes the snap. Snap is a good snap. Busman back to pass, looking to his left. Now he's going to run to his right under pressure out there and going to be wrapped up and tackled by Hutcherson and Albertini in on that sack. Back at the 11 yard line, or excuse me, at the six yard line. So good defensive start by the Indians here tonight, Mike. Yeah, Indians coming out looking good on defense. That front line of St. Paul with Anthony Albertini, Grant Hutcherson in there, and Hunter Pullman really tightening things down, not giving Frankfurt much of a chance there on offense. Let's hope that keeps up for him. Back deep is Adam Albertini, single back. Back deep stands on the Indians side of the ball, or on Frankfurt's side of the ball, 39-yard line. So back in the end zone is Busman waiting the snap. He is three yards deep in his own end zone. So a good snap. Here comes a rush, and he gets it off. Good punt. Albertini takes it on the fly at 37. Up to the 30. Cuts back to the middle of the field, 25-20. He's got a room. He's got a lane. 10-5. Touchdown, Indian. Yeah, you kind of had a feeling that Adam Albertini was back there receiving that kick with big eyes and ready to run. He caught the kick at about the 35-yard line. About a 37 yard or so. Yeah, I, I had him filming it at 37, Mike. So 37 punt return by Albertini on the first punt return of the game. So couldn't ask for a better start than yep. the Indians are off to here tonight. Six so Indian, to lead, 9.46 left to go in the first. Indians picking up where they left off last week three plays and three touchdowns. This week they got a touchdown, haven't even run a play yet. Bourne comes in with the extra point, drops his mouthpiece along the way, so he stops and gathers that up and wipes the grass off. Right. Have a little foreign material in his mouth here, Mike. It looks like Carlson and Kennedy. Carlson kind of set to the slot to the right. Up under center is Bourne. Here comes the snap. Pitch to Kennedy around the right-hand side. Looking for some room. Oh, he's going to be short. short of the end zone. First extra point of the year. The Indians have not made it. Keaton Kennedy 
cut that up. Kind of dived a little early. I thought he had a room to get in there. He was going to try to stretch that ball out, but I think he dove just a little bit early and just short of the end zone. So six to nothing is the early ending lead. And we was talking about that the first couple of weeks, how important extra points was, Mike. And the, and so far, the Indians was clean on the year on extra points. And I know that was probably a, a nice goal for mm. Coach Watrick because extra points are also important in yeah. Indian football. Yeah, sometimes they're more important than anything. You make sure you get those extra points. And we may chalk that one up to be in the first offensive play, really. They ran in the game and maybe a little pregame jitter still in there. So we're going to give them a pass on that one. Let's make sure we make the rest of them rest of the game. Pre-game, or excuse me, kickoff sponsor style. Set us more as Alejandro Mate gets the ball set back up on the tee. And Frankfurt's going to try to regroup here and see if they can get some kind of return on the night. Six to nothing lead. Indians, 946 left to go to the first. And bid alongside Mike McCracken. Glad to bring you an early Indians game here tonight. As we are in the third week of season, we're kind of in that the middle of the road, summer slash fall, it was kind of pretty nice. Really, it's been a real nice start to the to the football season for all the for all the area teams and how cool the weather's been. And this week's a little bit hotter. Nice drive and kick. This is well deep into the end zone. Good kick by Mate. He's going to give it first and 10 for the Frankfurt Wildcats at their own 15-yard line. Here we go. St. Paul got deep field position, got them pinned deep again. So defense, if they hold up like they did last time, keep them pinned down there, it'd be a long night for Frankfurt on offense. You don't worry so much about that good sweat getting worked up as long as you're playing well. No, it feels a lot better when you're playing well and in your head, for sure. Frankfurt comes up to the line of scrimmage, a bunch line. Now they kind of split back all out. It's pistol formation. Here comes the snap. It's going to be a hand. Nope. Bustman's going to keep it right up the middle. Got a little bit of running room for the first time. Drove down by Adam Albertini and Caleb Pekka on a three-yard gain. Kind of a a lot of misdirection run out of that pistol, Mike. Yeah, that's the same play that they ran last time, except this time he kept the ball. He comes out from behind the center, opens up to his left, and spins completely around in a circle. Last time he handed it off, this time he kept it and ran up through the line of scrimmage. So that would be something that Indians going to have to be aware of. The important for those ends to stay home and not get sucked inside on that and let them run outside of them. Second and seven, ball up to the 19-yard line. 9-11 left to go into first. Six to nothing, early Indian lead. Shotgun formation, Busman back to pass, rolling to his right, hit as he throws, balls up in the air, and picked off by Albertini. Albertini to the 30, to the 25, looking for some blockers, up to the 15, still running hard at the 15, and going to be wrapped up and stopped right there, so Adam Albertini put him together a pretty good game tonight, Mike. Yep, so far Adam Albertini's done a real good job, he's real patient on that run back after he made the interception, the official stood out there in the middle of the field, kind of set a pick for him a little bit, but... Uh, he's able to get back here and push it deep again. St. Paul again threatening to score. Timeout, Frankfurt. So with that, we'll take a timeout. Our timeout sponsor is St. Paul Supermarket. Glad to have him on board. Make sure you get up to the supermarket for all your grocery needs here in St. Paul. We'll be back after this 30-second timeout. with St. Paul Indian football on Hot 105. Prairie Mission Retirement Village in St. Paul provides services to people in their retirement years. Prairie Mission meets a wide range of needs from health care to assisted living and independent living apartments to elderly daycare services, including transportation. With our 7 to 7 dining, residents get up when they desire, eat when and what they want, and continue to live a full and happy life. Your family deserves the best in retirement care, so give Prairie Mission Retirement Village a call today for more information at 620-449-2400 or visit them at 242 Carroll Street in St. Paul. Let's get back to the game on your home for St. Paul Indian Sports. Hot 105. Well, welcome back here to Miles Field in St. Paul, Kansas. 8.50 left to go in the first. Six to nothing. Early Indian lead off to a good start. Adam Albertini with a pickoff and a nice return down to the 15-yard line. What was that, about a 18-yard Interception return, Mike. Yeah, and give a lot of credit to Grant Hutcherson coming in from defensive end stop and a lot of pressure on the quarterback, making him throw a little sooner than he wanted to. Brendan Doherty wide to the right, shotgun formation, single back set to the left is Albertini. Brent, Braven Bourne keeps it up to the 10. Five, touchdown, Braven Bourne. One play and a 15-yard touchdown. Ran the little option to the right. He went to the left. Nobody touches him, and he's in for the Indian touchdown. And he's up to the 12 nothing lead. 8.44 left to go in the first quarter on early football game tonight. 
it's hard for me to keep up when they're scoring that fast. Man, they've had one offensive play and two touchdowns so far. Bourne comes in from the sideline for the extra point. Hutcherson runs up over the football. Anthony Albertini, your right guard. Kobe Spielbush, left guard. Caleb Peckin, left tight end. Colin Carlson set at the right tight end. Brendan Doherty set wide to the right. Albertini, single back set, pass to Doherty. He's behind him that way. Two, 0 for 2 on extra points. That Doherty was open, but the pass was behind his left shoulder. He couldn't reach back and get it reeled in. So 12 to nothing, 844 left to go. Here in the first, we'll be back after this 30-second timeout. Let's St. Paul football on Hot 105. Exchange Insurance Agency is a proud supporter of the St. Paul Indians. Give us a call, visit our website, or stop in to let us do the comparison shopping for you and get a free no-obligation quote. Offering all types of insurance, including auto, motorcycle, home, farm, crop, watercraft, life, and health. Medicare supplements, and all lines of commercial or business insurance. Serving the four-state area since 1964, Exchange Insurance in St. Paul is here to provide you with what you need, want, and should expect from your insurance agency. Let's get back to the game on your home for St. Paul Indian Sports. Hot 105. 8.44 left to go in the first. Indians out to a 12 to nothing lead. A lot of defense and not too much offense put together by the Indians yet, Mike. Yeah, a lot of defensive work by the Indians, and it's really paid off in big dividends for them. Defense responsible, really, for both of those first early touchdowns by St. Paul. Not a set to kick off or kickoff sponsor styles, fitness, and more. Alejandro's got the ball teed up on the 30. Here comes a kick. High driving kick. Going to be about two yards deep in the end zone, so... Three for three is Alejandro on touchback. So Frankfurt Wildcats take over first and ten from the 15 yard line for the third time, trying to get something going on offense here. Trying to gain their, trying to muster up a first first down for them. Yeah, they haven't really had much luck getting anything at all. Started, they've tried to throw the pass, they've tried to run the ball, and neither one of them has worked very well so far for Frankfurt. They're going to have to get something going here pretty quick. Fairly young team for Frankfurt, just two seniors on the roster. Got some nice size. Yeah, not bad size. They kind of bunch up and then break huddle. Now we got one receiver wide to the left, one to the right, single back set behind the shotgun, Busman in the shotgun. He's going to uh, hand off to the right-hand side. He's going to get just past the line of scrimmage. May have a gain of one. Clutch Schreiner, a 125. Dolling House, 21. Excuse me, Dolling House, a 155, 155-pound sophomore with a carry. Give him, we're going to give him a gain of two. It'll be a pickup for two. It'll be second and eight for the Wildcats. Second and eight for the Wildcats. 821 left to go in the first. 12 to nothing is the Indian lead. That's the first positive yardage by Frankfurt so far. Shotgun formation is Busman. Single back set to the right. Hand off to the left-hand side. And that is going to be Dollinghouse again. He's going to gain about... Two more yards. We're going to give him three. We're going to call it third and five. The ball set just short of the 20 yard line for Frankfurt. And if three, it'll be third and five. Big third down play for the Indians here. Third possession of the game for Frankfurt. Indians playing well on defense to set them up a great field position as well as an interception return, or excuse me, a punt return for a touchdown and an interception return back to the 15 by Adam Albertini. Busman in the shotgun, single back set to the right is Dollinghouse. Now motion out wide left is Schreiner. Back to pass, under pressure, Hutcherson, he throws it up late. It's going to be caught, but man, he is smoked by Albertini and Carlson. He's going to be short of the first down. Number 21, Garrett Dollinghouse. Busman barely got that ball away. Dollinghouse reels it in. He's going to get about a yard and a half gain. We're going to call it fourth and four. Fourth and three for the Wildcats. For the Wildcats, see what they elect to do here. Ball sets it to 22-yard line. They need to get up 25 for a first down. It appears like they're going to go for it here on fourth and call it three. Shotgun formations, Busman split or uh, set to his right is Dollinghouse. Busman's going to kick, kick. Nice play by Busman to get that ball off. It's going to roll down to the 10-9-yard line. It's going to be touched there and down. It's a little quick, quick kick. Quick, quick putting on third down, but it was on fourth down, but 
not a traditional pump formation, so nobody back deep for the Indians. I guess gives St. Paul a lot longer field, gives Frankfurt's defense more room to work instead of being pinned deep in their own territory. So we'll see what happens here with St. Paul getting the ball. 640 left to go in the first, 12 to nothing. Indians lead, first and 10 for the Indians at the nine-yard line. So Indians pinned deep in their own territory. Let's see what they can get going on offense here. Really? Back deep here. Just the second time in the game that they've had the football on offense. Wide to the right is Doherty. Now Albertini going to split out there. Shotgun formation is born. Here comes the snap. He rolls to his right. He looks. He throws it late to Doherty. Doherty catches it, spins away, gets up to across the 15, caught the 16-yard line. Doherty, Doherty come open real early in that play. Looks like there's a wildcat dinged up on the play. Looks like Schreiner down. And with this injury timeout, we're going to go ahead and take a 30-second timeout. You're with St. Paul football on Hot 105. St. Paul Tire and Lube, locally owned and operated, offers the small town convenience you love without the big city prices. They offer free pickup and drop off in St. Paul, so you're not left stranded while your vehicle is in the shop. They offer tire repair and also offer oil change and new tires. When you find yourself in need of new tires or an oil change and need to keep going, visit with St. Paul Tire and Lube, 620-449-2323. St. Paul Tire and Lube, proud supporters of the St. Paul Indians. Let's get back to the game on your home for St. Paul Indian Sports. Hot 105. St. Paul out to a 12 and up the lead. Good pass and catch from Doherty, or excuse me, from Bourne to Doherty for an eight yard gain. Doherty was open early in that. Bourne kind of got it to him a little bit late. He might have had a little more room if Bourne had got it to him a little quicker. But eight yard gain on the play. This time, two receivers split wide to the left as Albertini and Doherty out wide. Born in the shotgun. Now he flags Albertini in, sets him to his right in the pistol. Here's, and now there's going to be a flag on the play. It's going to be a false start against the Indians. Indians having a little trouble getting their offenses set quite right here. Yeah, they had trouble getting everyone set. Took a long time. Those linemen got down there and got in a hurry. Jumped a little early. Let's go back to Indians up five yards. Going to bring up second down and call it seven. Ball now sets. Back at the 12 yard line. Back up the line of scrimmage of coat. Wide to the left is Doherty. Shotgun formations born. Set to his right is Adam Albertini. Born back to pass. Looking for the out. Caleb Pecker wide open. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 30. Oh, that's back. Coming back. Doherty. It's going to come back. I thought it looked like a pretty good crack by, block by Doherty to. Free Pekka down the sideline. Pekka runs for a touchdown, but the flag was right at the 40. You can't hardly fault no, got two Coach Patrick looking around. at him. But yeah, they... It must have been a block on the back, but really, Doherty was further down the field mm-hmm. than Pekka, and I thought he turned around and probably had the front side of him. But yeah. I didn't. I just seen the hit. I didn't see it cleanly, I guess. So either way, both officials right on top of their two flags, so that's going to negate the touchdown run by Pekka on a good Pass and catch. It's still going to be good for an Indian first down because it foul occurred at the 40 yard line at midfield. So I guess we'll give Bourne about 12 yards passing on that one. Yes, sir. First and 10 for the Indian. Ball sets at the 27 yard line. He gets 12 instead of <laughs> 50 <laughs> something. Yeah. Hutcherson up to the line of scrimmage. Wide to the right is Doherty. Shotgun formations. Bourne set to his left this time is Adam Albertini. First and 10, back to pass, looking deep for Doherty. Doherty trying to run under, the overthrown by about five yards. Boy, Brandon Bourne got an arm line. He threw that ball about 35 yards in the air and just completely overthrew Brendan Doherty. He was running as hard as he could down the sideline, just couldn't catch up with it. Second and 10 for the Indians. Ball says it's 27-yard line. Doherty had his man beat, but just sailed over his head. Bourne should have put just a little bit more air under it. Second 10 for the Indians. Ball sits at the 27-yard line. Third possession of the game for the Indians. 12 to nothing is their lead. 6-0-1 left to go in the first. Wide, split wide right is Doherty. Born in a shotgun. Albertini set to his left. Albertini off the right-hand side. Looking for Schmerer up the middle. Wrapped up after about a four-yard game. I'm going to bring up. Should bring up third down and call it six for the Indians. 
Pick up a four. It'll be third and six for the Indians. So the good ball draws up here, third and six. Ball sets at the 31 yard line, 5.38 left to go in the first. Indians lead 12 to nothing. You know, when you've got Albertini running like that and you've got Doherty on the outside, that play action pass becomes pretty effective, too. Doherty split wide to the right. Shotgun formation is born. Adam Albertini set to his left. Bourne keeps it off the left hand side, looking for some space. Puts his shoulder pad down. And he's going to get a first down. Good hard run by Braven Bourne. Rode down there hard, but not until he gains about nine yards. Gets right to midfield as he runs the option and keeps it to his left. Same play that he scored on earlier tonight. First and 10 for the Indians. Ball sits at midfield. A little tougher drive here by the Indians. Start well back in their own territory at their own nine. Now up to the 40. Split wide to the right is Doherty. Same set. Shotgun formation. Albertini falls on the ground. Bourne picks it up. Now he throws to Doherty. Doherty wide open. 30. 20, 10, 5, touchdown. 40-yard pass and catch from Bourne to Doherty after Bourne had to pick that ball up off the ground as he fumbled the snap. It was really a broken play, but good recovery by Bourne. Excellent catch by Doherty. Wide open. 18 to nothing lead, 443 left to go in the first. So good pass and catch, good route by Doherty. He was wide open. Some pretty clean pass and catch there. Mm-hmm. So. Touchdown, Indians. See if the Indians can clean up these extra points as third one of the night. They're over two on extra points. And Doherty now sets up the tight end position. I formation. Colin Carlson at fullback. And Albertini at tailback. Born up under center this time. And it's going to be a handoff to Albertini. Left hand side. Nowhere to go for him. He stacked up well short of the goal line. Absolutely nowhere to go. That play had nowhere to go from the start. Coach Wartrick is not going to be happy about not being successful at these extra points. Either way, Indians out to an 18 to nothing lead. We'll be back after this one minute timeout with St. Paul football and Hot 105. Farmers Bank is a full service bank with small town personal attention. They know you by name and are always glad to help you out. Offering 24 hour ATM and three banking locations in St. Paul, Walnut, and Hepler, Farmers Bank, member FDIC, is proud to help support the success that a small community can achieve with teamwork and determination. Richie's Drugstore in Erie has been serving the area since 1883 with a strong belief in providing customized care and doing more than just filling prescriptions. Pharmacist Morgan Bunton is now taking appointments for free consultations and sign-up assistance for Medicare Supplement Part D plans that fit your needs. Open enrollment begins October 15th and ends December 7th. Even if you're in a current plan, let Richie's help you determine if there's a better plan to cover your unique needs and prescriptions. Call, click, or stop by Richie's today. Let's get back to the game on your home for St. Paul Indian Sports. Hot 105. Welcome back to Miles Field as Alejandro has the ball teed up for the Indians after the score. 18 to nothing is the lead on the 40-yard pass catch from Bourne to Doherty. Alejandro puts his foot into it, and that's almost about three yards from going out of the back of the end zone. So Alejandro just keeps gaining Confidence and strength as the season goes on. Ball spotted at the 15-yard line for Frankfurt as they come onto the field for the fourth time on offense. And his defense retakes the field. 18 to nothing, 4.43 left to go in the first quarter. Frankfurt looked a little better with some field to work with on defense. We'll see what they do here on offense. They haven't had much field at all to work with. Well, I guess they got a lot to work with if they can get down there, but that St. Paul defense has been stingy on yardage for them. Frankfurt splits out three receivers wide to the left. Busman single back in the shotgun. Formation. Here comes the snap. Low snap, gets it off. It's going to be a little flare out off the left side. A little bit of room, not much, maybe a half-yard gain. Excuse me, they're going to give him a little bit of a loss. The ball, well, actually, the ball spotted right back on the 15-yard line, so no gain on the play. Dollinghouse with the reception. But no gain on the play. Good defense put together by the Indians. Second and 10 for the Wildcats. Good job by Braven Bourne coming up there on the coverage. He's able to stop Dollinghouse right at the line of scrimmage and drive him out of bounds. Three receivers wide to the right this time. Busman in the shotgun. And Busman calls for the snap. Good snap. Back to pass. Under a little pressure. 
Tries to dodge, and now he's going to be sacked back behind the line of scrimmage at the 11-yard line. Looks like Colin Carlson got in there and got that sack. Hutcherson was in there quick, but he missed it. So was Anthony Albertini and Pullman. Lesman slipped away, but Colin Carlson wrapped him up for a four-yard loss. So a sack by Carlson. Going to bring up third down and 14. Let's see what the Frankfurt dials up here. Third and long ways. Third and 14 for Frankfurt. Two receivers wide to the right, one to the left. Shotgun formation, single back set to the left of Bestman. Back to pass. A little screen play right in the middle. Red perfectly by Colin Carlson, and he tackles him for no gain on the play. He's going to bring up fourth down and 15 timeout Frankfurt. So with that, we're going to take a timeout. It's going to be a 30-second timeout. You're St. Paul football on Hot 105. The Exchange State Bank is proud to be a member of the St. Paul community. The Exchange State Bank has served the area since 1914 and is committed to go the distance for you. A full-service bank, they offer savings, checking accounts, loan certificates of deposit, and more. They also offer competitive rates on loans and investments, all while giving you the kind of personal service you won't find at bigger institutions. Visit with Bob Conifer at Exchange State Bank in St. Paul, member FDIC, proud sponsor of the St. Paul Indians. Let's get back to the game on your home for St. Paul Indian Sports. Hot 105. Welcome back to Miles Field. Indians defense off to a hot start, just like the hot day today. 304 left to go in the first. They lead 18 to nothing, but the defense is really setting the precedence. Actually, I want to restate that. Alejandro's kicking game and the defense right. is really setting the precedence for the Indians here tonight yeah. on this game. Yeah, St. Paul's defense really is reading that screen. They read that screen perfect. They call Carlson right there to make the tackle as soon as he caught the ball. wasn't fooled a bit. It just a good job all around by the defense. It's like Bussman's going to back up into front formation. Adam Albertini, he sits at the 36-yard line awaiting the punt. Here comes the snap. I don't. No rush by the Indians. Absolutely no rush. That's going to be a poor kick. Going to go out of bounds about the 26-yard line, maybe. Maybe the 25 right there. He didn't stop where he was supposed to. Back up this way. <laughs> he needs to go right there. Right there. And you're going to try, there, you're going to try to triangulate it in there. <laughs> if he can't it, ball goes, it was a poor kick out of bounds. It's going to be Indians ball at the 25-yard line. So, excellent field position. On a change of position, first and 10 for the Indians at the 25-yard line. The Indians are out to an 18 to nothing lead. Three minutes left to go here in the first. The Indians really got an advantage here, that short field again. Hutcherson hustles up to the line of scrimmage. Up on the line, now Pullman at left guard. Colin Carlson at fullback. Albertini at tailback. Option to the left-hand side. Bourne's going to keep it. Cuts the middle of the field. Puts the shoulder pad down. It's going to be a nice seven-yard gain on the play on first down. Number 15, Raven Bourne. Number Raven Bourne with a nice six-and-a-half-yard gain. It's going to bring up the and call it second and four for the Indians. Ball inside the 20 at the 18-and-a-half-yard line. Albertini comes back. Adam, or Anthony Albertini comes back into the game for the Indians. With this heat, you're bound to see a lot of subs coming in. Yeah, right? that's what I was getting ready to say. This heat may be the biggest obstacle St. Paul has to overcome in this game. High formation, Carlson at fullback, Albertini at tailback. Born up under center, hands it to Albertini off the right-hand side, looking for some room, stretches out. It's going to have a first down on the play. Good hard run by Albertini. A lot better defense put together by Frankfurt here. It's going to bring, be a first down for the Indians. Ball inside the 15 at the 14-yard line. 2.18 left to go in the first. 18 to nothing. Indians lead. Bourne comes back in the sideline with the play. Up to the line of scrimmage comes Hutcherson. Anthony Albertini right guard. Hunter Pullman now left guard. Caleb Becker left tight end. And Kobe Spillbush right tied in. Split back formation. Back to pass is Bourne. Looking for Spillbush. Has him. Knocked out of bounds about the four-yard line. Good pass and catch from the quarterback to the tight end. Spillbush with a little 10-yard out. First and goal for the Indians at the three-yard line. Play action pass there out of the split back formation. Spillbush come wide open from that right tight end position. First and goal for the Indians. Ball. Sets at the three-yard line. 
Split back formation, Carlson to the right, Albertini to the left. Kind of a slot to the right is Carlson. Handoff inside, handoff, Carlson, touchdown. Colin Carlson, three-yard dive off the left side to the weak side of the line. That looks like that old crossbuck play to me. Dan started on the right side and cut across to the left. It's going to be good for an Indian touchdown. It's going to take the lead out to 24 to nothing for the Indians. Yeah, good job by Colin reading that hole. Good job by the line. They made a hole through there that I think I could run through, but it wasn't very far. Mm. <laughs> no comment. I knew you would. You think it. Extra point pending here, ending up to a 24 to nothing lead. Looks like Bourne's going to be in the shotgun. Two receivers slot right. Doherty out wide right. Rolls to his right. Doherty, extra point catch is good. Bourne to Doherty on a little out. Extra point is good. First extra point, first good extra point tonight. He's going to take the lead. That's 26 nothing. We'll be back after this 30 second timeout in the St. Paul Indian football on Hot 105. Jerry and Kevin Winter, along with the entire crew at KW Trucking, are proud to bring you this broadcast of the St. Paul Indians. KW Trucking specializes in heavy equipment and heavy truck repair, late model rebuilding, and body work from large trucks down to cars. They also have a full service machine shop and a great selection of both used cars and trucks. See Jerry or Kevin at KW Trucking or call 449 2763. Let's get back to the game on your home for St. Paul Indian Sports. Hot 105. Alejandro is set to kick the ball off. You know, Mike, we're on an eight-man field here tonight. Eight-man football, right? Yes, sir. I don't know if the line could open up a big enough hole for you to run through on an eight-man field. You might be surprised what I get away with with the proper <laughs> motivation and a hole like that to run through. I can probably impress everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only 40 yards wide now, Mike. Yeah, I know it. I couldn't run all the way across one time, but I could take little bites of it. 148 left to go in the first. 26 to nothing. Indian lead. Alejandro has the ball teed off. Styles Fitness and More is our kickoff sponsor. We'll take the St. Paul Supermarket for our timeout sponsor. Uh oh, it's going to be returnable, I think. Going to right. Oh, he backed into the end zone, but he let him go. And out to the 5 10. He's got some run room. Got a blocker in front of him. Alejandro is the only one back deep. And he's going to be wrapped up and brought down by Alejandro at the 40-yard line. As that time, no touchback, and the Indians' kickoff coverage wasn't the best in the world. Coach Fletcher will not be happy with that. Getting way too used to Alejandro kicking it in the end zone, not hustling down there for some coverage. <clears throat> by rights, that should have been a touchback in my yeah. book because the, the receiver backed up and had both feet right on the chalk line behind the goal line. I don't know if the ball actually has to cross the plane or not, but either way. Good return by the young man up to the 40-yard line. So first and 10 for Frankfurt right at, well, they're going to be on their side of the field at the 39. Hand off to the right, or excuse me, left-hand side. Going to be chased down by Carlson for a short gain on the play. He's going to gain two, and that's going to be Schreiner on the gain. He he was dinged up a little bit earlier on the hit by Doherty, but he's back in the game. That's good to see. Two-yard gain on the play. Crosses midfield just short of the 39. So second down and eight for Frankfurt. You know, this afternoon, the old breeze kind of cut the heat a little bit. didn't make it quite feel so bad, but them old flags are hanging still. Right, it's awful hot right now. I bet you their boys are working up a good lather out there this afternoon. Second down and eight shotgun formation. This time, it's Shriner to the right-hand side. Cuts to the middle. He's going to be real close to the first down. Now there's a flag on the play. Looks, Could be a hole. probably going to be a face mask, Mike, yeah. from where it's at. Probably an incidental face mask. Penalty marker down. See what the flag is for. As Frankfurt getting something going on offense, it is a face mask against the Indians. We'll see if it's a 5 or a 15. That's going to be a first down for Frankfurt, their first one of tonight, and it's just a five yard incidental face max. But either way, it's going to give them a first down, first and 10. For Frankfurt at the 28 yard line. <clears throat> Frankfurt going to have to, or St. Paul rather, going to have to be careful and, and not get lax here playing on defense and then that kickoff coverage. They're going to have to not go to sleep. Frankfurt's not going to give up. Frankfurt comes to the line, first and 10, ball sits 28, pistol formation, wide to the right is Schreiner. Set to the left is Dollinghouse. Now he slips over to the right. 
Must when with the carry or excuse me, trying to stalling house with the carry up the left hand side. He's got seven yards running room. Nice gain. Twenty one, Jared Dollinghouse on the carry. Down across just short of the twenty. Call it the twenty one yard line. It's going to bring up second down and four. I looked down to get <laughs> Roster's yep. name as the play was going on. For the Wildcats. Game of adjustments. Evidently, Frankfurt's found a soft spot somewhere, and they were able to make an adjustment maybe on, up front with the blockers and create a little crease there for Dollinghouse. And that's the end of the first quarter. At the end of the first quarter score, Indians off to a good start, 26 to nothing. We'll be back after this one-minute timeout. You're listening to St. Paul Indian Football on Hot 105. Prairie Mission Retirement Village in St. Paul provides services to people in their retirement years. Prairie Mission meets a wide range of needs from health care to assisted living and independent living apartments to elderly daycare services, including transportation. With our 7 to 7 dining, residents get up when they desire, eat when and what they want, and continue to live a full and happy life. Your family deserves the best in retirement care, so give Prairie Mission Retirement Village a call today for more information at 620-449-2400 or visit them at 242 Carroll Street in St. Paul. Exchange Insurance Agency is a proud supporter of the St. Paul Indians. Give us a call, visit our website, or stop in to let us do the comparison shopping for you and get a free no-obligation quote. Offering all types of insurance, including auto, motorcycle, home, farm, crop, watercraft, life, and health. Medicare supplements, and all lines of commercial or business insurance. Serving the four-state area since 1964, Exchange Insurance in St. Paul is here to provide you with what you need, want, and should expect from your insurance agency. Let's get back to the game on your home for St. Paul Indian Sports. Hot 105. Well, welcome back as we start the second quarter. And I'm going to make a little well now the yard mark. Well, he's just not spotted on the football yet. Down on the wrong spot. There he goes. There we go. Second down and four. Ball sets 21 yard line for Frankfurt. I formate or shotgun formation. Busman, hand off to the right. Dolling House wrapped up by Pullman. Going to be no gain on the play. Good job from the weak side defensive end as Pullman come around there and made that wrap up for no gain. It's going to bring up third down and call it two. Ball sets. Just not, not quite to the 20-yard line, 20-and-a-half-yard line, so big third down. Actually, it's going to be two-down territory for Frankfurt as they're deep into Indian territory trying to get into the red zone here. I'm not sure if that was a stunt or not, but Pullman was headed in there on a mission and might have had a linebacker swinging out the contain outside, but Pullman was on his way in to get him right at the handoff. Busman in a shotgun. Dollinghouse set to the left of him. Here's shotgun snap. This time Busman's going to keep it. Got had a little fake there, but good. Hustle by Spillbush wraps him up, and knocks him down with a shoestring tackle. There was a couple of Indians that got tricked on that play. They went for Dollinghouse, and Busman kept it to the option that Spillbush did his job from that right hand linebacker position, came up and made the tackle. We're going to call it no gain on the play. It's going to bring up third, fourth, and a let's call it three. His ball now sets its 21 yard line. St. Paul got a little bit of bend don't break earlier, but right now they're looking pretty good on defense. Big fourth down play here. Now receiver splits wide to the right and to the left. Shotgun formation is Busman. He's going to keep it right up the middle looking for some room. He's going to be held up short as Carlson and Pekka comes up hard and Spillbush gang tackles Brandon Busman on the carry. So Indians are going to hold on downs here. First and 10 so for the Indians. They're going to take over possession at the 21-yard line. 10.42 left to go in the second. Indians lead 26 to nothing. Indians defense bows up there and holds Frankfurt from getting in their own red zone. First and 10 for the Indians at the 21-yard line as Bourne comes in from the sideline with the play from Coach Walker. High formation, Carlson a fullback. Out, or Keaton Kennedy now set at tailback. Bourne with a snap. Gives to Carl, or no, pitch to Kennedy late. Kennedy's looking for some room. Good block out here by Pekka. Springs him loose. 40 knocked out of bounds after he crosses midfield. Wall apart by number 21, Dollinghouse. It was a good fake. Good fake by Bourne and also by Colin Carlson. I thought he had the ball. Good patience by Kennedy waiting for Pekka. Pekka made a heck of a block out here. Took his man down the field. I uh, just waiting for Keaton to turn on the Jets, and he was waiting for that block. Got down the sideline, but he was knocked out of bounds. Not until he crosses midfield to the 39-yard line. It's a nice game. 20-yard so different set here. Three receivers split wide to the right. Pekka, Albertini, and Doherty born in the shotgun. 
Moore, a little quick pass to Doherty on a little screen, wide receiver screen. He's across the 25-20, turns the gas on. Touchdown. With a wide receiver screen from the right-hand side, Doherty come all the way across the field for a 39-yard pass and catch from Bourne to Doherty for the Indian touchdown. That was a pretty neat play to watch develop there, Dan. As he came across, you could just see him waiting for the ball, and Braven Bourne was able to hit him in stride, took off right across the field to the near sideline, and was gone. Pekka and Albertini took their men down the field, and Doherty just kind of hung back, took the wide receiver screen, and then followed it all the way across the field. Nobody touched him as he got around the corner. Doherty wide to the right. Shotgun formation is Bourne. Set to his left is Adam Albertini. Here's a snap. Bourne's looking for Doherty again. Oh, right off his fingertips. Had him. Doherty jumped just a little bit too soon. Pass falls harmlessly to the ground. 32 to nothing is the Indian lead. Two-point conversion is no good. 10-24 left to go in the first half. We'll be back after this 30-second timeout. You listen to St. Paul Indian football on Hot 105. St. Paul Tire and Lube, locally owned and operated, offers the small town convenience you love without the big city prices. They offer free pickup and drop off in St. Paul, so you're not left stranded while your vehicle is in the shop. They offer tire repair and also offer oil change and new tires. When you find yourself in need of new tires or an oil change and need to keep going, visit with St. Paul Tire and Lube, 620-449-2323. St. Paul Tire and Lube, proud supporters of the St. Paul Indians. Let's get back to the game on your home for St. Paul Indian Sports. Hot 105. Our timeout sponsor is St. Paul Supermarket here in St. Paul. Kickoff sponsor is Styles Fitness and more as Alejandro has the ball teed up. 10-24 left to go in the first half. 32 to nothing. Indian lead. Alejandro's kick going to be high kick. Going to be taking at, in the end zone. So it's going to be a touchback by Alejandro. So last time taken right at the goal line and returned out to the 40. So that's just how much of a weapon that kicking is if you can get it into the end zone. Yeah, it looked like better hustle on the coverage, too, by the kickoff team. They were down there ready to make the tackle. They were within five yards of the, of the receiver when the ball got there. So a lot better hustle that time by the kickoff team. First and 10 for Frankfurt Wildcats at their own 15-yard line. Indian defense gets set. Frankfurt comes, out to the lo- comes up to the line. Busman in the shotgun. Dollinghouse to his right in the pistol. Here comes the snap. Option to the left. Busman's going to pull it out, but he's ripped down by Kobe Schoolbush. Kobe was watching that option all the way. He wasn't fooled. Brandon, no. Brandon Busman. Busman tried to ride the, the running back there and then pulled it out, decided to keep it, and Kobe Schoolbush was right there to answer him. Two yard long. loss on the play. Second and 12 for the Wildcats. The ball now sets at the 13 yard line. 10-0-1, let's go in the first half. 32 to nothing, Indians lead. Clock's running. Frankfurt taking their time in the huddle here. Center breaks huddle and comes up to the line of scrimmage. The count is on. They're going to have a delay of game because they're like three yards deep. Now they're looking timeout. at timeout. 9.42 left to go for half. 32 to nothing, Indians lead. We'll be back after this one-minute timeout. Here to St. Paul Indian football on Hot 105. Farmers Bank is a full-service bank with small-town personal attention. They know you by name and are always glad to help you out. Offering 24-hour ATM and three banking locations in St. Paul, Walnut, and Hepler, Farmers Bank, member FDIC, is proud to help support the success that a small community can achieve with teamwork and determination. Richie's Drug Store in Erie has been serving the area since 1883 with a strong belief in providing customized care and doing more than just filling prescriptions. Pharmacist Morgan Bunton is now taking appointments for free consultations and sign-up assistance for Medicare Supplement Part D plans that fit your needs. Open enrollment begins October 15th and ends December 7th. Even if you're in a current plan, let Richie's help you determine if there's a better plan to cover your unique needs and prescriptions. Call, click, or stop by Richie's today. Let's get back to the game on your home for St. Paul Indian Sports. Hot 105. Welcome to that timeout sponsored by St. Paul Supermarket. Two receivers wide to the right for Frank Busman. He's going to keep it around the left-hand side. Tries to get the middle cut down by Spielbush and Hutcherson. He's going to have about a three or four-yard gain on the play. Gets him 
It's going to get uh, Frankfurt to third down and nine. Brandon Bussman. Ball now set about the 17 yard line. Tackle by number 33, Greg Hudson. We're call it third and eight. Three, Toby Fielberg. Nine twenty left to go in the first half. 32 nothing. Indians lead. Good third down play for the Indian defense here, Mike. Yeah, it shouldn't be too foreign of a concept for St. Paul to be watching that belly option. That's what St. Paul's ran for a long time on their offense. So it's not like they haven't seen it before, and they're doing a real good job covering it right now. Here it comes. Two receivers wide to the right, one to the left. Busman's in the shotgun alone, back to pass, looking to his right, throws it up high. He's got a man down here, and it's going to be caught. And Caleb Pekka wraps him up. He lets his receiver get behind him. And Schreiner kept running the pattern, and Pekka got burnt on the play. It's going to be across midfield down to the 39. Busman under pressure, but got that pass off. Right back up the line of scrimmage comes Frankfurt. Three receivers wide to the left. Busman in the shotgun. A little bit of a hurry up here. Back to pass is Busman. Looks to his left. Now hits a man in the middle and another busted coverage, but the ball hits the ground. Incomplete pass. Yeah, but uh, the receiver there, 24, is that 24. Hardwick? Austin he wanted the catch, but the official was standing right there and saw the ball hit the ground before he was able to reel it in. Hurry up here. Second down and 10 by Frankfurt. Three receivers wide to the left, one to the right. Busman in the shotgun. Looking at the play for the sideline. Here comes the snap. Back to pass is Busman. No pressure across the middle of the field. Ball's going to be picked off by Caleb Pekka. And he returns the ball across the 40. He's going to be knocked out of bounds. He's going to be late yeah. hit out of bounds as two flags come in. And that ball was tipped by Braven Bourne. And Caleb Pekka with a nice hustle. Bourne's holding his hands up to Coach saying it went right through my hand, Coach, but Caleb Puckett, he's yep. going to get all the glory, and I had it right there in my hand, and it's going to be a late hit out of bounds. Yep. Puckett returned that ball for about 12 yards to the 38, but he was hit well out of bounds, about the 30-yard line after he's about three yards across the sideline. So they're going to mark it from the spot of the foul, my guess. Or... Raven Bourne is holding his hand to Coach Stone King saying, Coach, I think well, it was right. Well, they called pass interference on St. Paul. No, they didn't. They're blocking the back. Yes, the, the, the offset penalties. Oh. Uh, unnecessary roughness for a late hit on the Wildcats. So the good news is St. Paul keeps the ball. Bad news is penalties offset, so they didn't gain any extra yardage on that. Okay, I'm going to have to pay more attention because I don't know. I just seen the two flags come in on the late hit out of bounds. I guess there is yeah. a flag here on the sideline. Yeah. It could have been pass interference. There would still be their no, ball. No, block in the back. Oh, the block in the back. Yeah, okay, yeah, on the return. Yeah, yeah. Okay, excuse me. First and ten for the Indians. Regardless, good pickoff by Caleb Pekka there. That was tipped by Bourne. Pekka picked it off, and he gets across midfield down to 35. So first and ten for the Indians. Indians will take over at the Wildcats. At 35 yard line. 8:34 left to go before half. 32 to nothing. Indians lead. Timeout. Indians. With that, we're going to take a one minute timeout. That's St. Paul football on Hot 105. The Exchange State Bank is proud to be a member of the St. Paul community. The Exchange State Bank has served the area since 1914 and is committed to go the distance for you. A full-service bank, they offer savings, checking accounts, loan certificates of deposit, and more. They also offer competitive rates on loans and investments, all while giving you the kind of personal service you won't find at bigger institutions. Visit with Bob Conifer at Exchange State Bank in St. Paul, member FDIC, proud sponsor of the St. Paul Indians. Jerry and Kevin Winter, along with the entire crew at KW Trucking, are proud to bring you this broadcast of the St. Paul Indians. KW Trucking specializes in heavy equipment and heavy truck repair, late model rebuilding, and body work from large trucks down to cars. They also have a full-service machine shop and a great selection of both used cars and trucks. See Jerry or Kevin at KW Trucking or call 449-2763. Let's get back to the game on your home for St. Paul Indian Sports. Hot 105. So welcome back to Miles Field. The pickoff by Caleb Pecka across midfield down to the 35. Gives the Indians great field position. Here first and 10 at the 35. We have some subs. Got Easton Dent at left guard. Raven Bourne still up under center. Carlson at fullback. Kennedy at tailback. Kennedy has the ball. Cuts back to middle field. One man to beat, breaks away, 20, 15, 10, turns the gas on, touchdown. Got no flag, 35-yard touchdown run by Keaton Kennedy. Nice hard run by Kennedy that time. 
Number 18, Keaton Kennedy on the carry. He's going to get in for an Indian touchdown. As Easton Dent was at left guard, and Chandler Bradshaw was at left tight end that time. Hayden Smith comes into the game from the sideline for the extra point try. 38 to nothing is the Indian lead. 8-13 left to go in the first half. Born still. Having trouble with the clock right now. Clock kept running. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> Born up under center. Carlson a pullback. Hayden Smith at tailback. Born takes a snap. Hands it to Smith. Right side. And he's going to be in there. Yes, he is. All Extra right. point is good by Smith. Looks like he had a heck of a hole to run through. 8.07 left to go in the first half. 40 to nothing. Indian lead. We'll be back after this 30 second timeout in the St. Paul Indian football on Hot 105. St. Paul Tire and Lube, locally owned and operated, offers the small town convenience you love without the big city prices. They offer free pickup and drop off in St. Paul, so you're not left stranded while your vehicle is in the shop. They offer tire repair and also offer oil change and new tires. When you find yourself in need of new tires or an oil change and need to keep going, visit with St. Paul Tire and Lube, 620-449-2323. St. Paul Tire and Lube, proud supporters of the St. Paul Indians. Let's get back to the game on your home for St. Paul Indian Sports. Hot 105. Welcome back to Miles Field here in St. Paul, Kansas. Indians out to commanding 40 to nothing lead. 8.07 left to go in the first half as Alejandro Monte gets set to kick the ball off for kickoff sponsor style fitness and more. Timeout sponsored by you by St. Paul Supermarket. Alejandro has the ball teed up at the 30. As everybody's set, and here comes a kick. High, driving I'm kick. In there. That one is out of the back of the end zone. Touch back as Frankfurt will start. First and 10 from the 15 yard line. Alejandro got all of that one, Mike. Yeah, he got underneath that one, and it just sailed all the way to the back of the end zone. And his defense takes the field as Easton Dent hustles in on defense. Kind of fun to watch that kind of excitement on the kickoff. Sometimes they get really excited when he does that. It looks kind of fun. To, it's fun to watch. Keith Kennedy comes in at linebacker. As Dent's going to come in at right defensive end. So the young sophomore are going to get some time out there at defensive end. They split two receivers wide to the left and one wide to the right. Busman in the shotgun. Dollinghouse sets a slot to his left. Back to pass. And Busman crossed the middle of the field too high and incomplete. Going to bring second and ten from the fifteen. Pass the ball was well above and past his hands. 8.04 left to go in the second quarter. 40 to nothing. Indians lead. St. Paul still got their starting defensive backfield in there with Albertini, Pekka, and Braven Bourne trying to protect from that deep pass. Frankfurt up to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10. 8.04 left to go before half. Three receivers wide to the left, one to the right. Busman is in the shotgun by himself. Here's the snap. Looking to the right this time and back behind the receiver. Spielbush has to be careful here. Make sure you don't hit late as that ball falls incomplete again. And he's going to bring up third down and 10. Got a fine line there. You want to make the guy pay and let him know that you're there to hit him, but you got to be, you got to be careful not to wait about a half a step too long on those. But good job by Cope being right there. It was a bang bang play. If yeah. he caught it, he was going to. Yeah, he was going to get him. Things are going to knock him down. The pass is just behind him, and he was about a half second either way. Irregardless, third and ten. Three receivers wide to the left this time. Busman shotgun. Here comes a snap. Looking to his left, throws it up deep across the middle of the field. Going to be knocked down by a Braven Bourne as fall as the pass falls incomplete. Pass at that time was intended for Schreiner. Number twenty-two. Carson Busman just didn't quite have Schreiner. enough arm underneath that one. Threw it just a little bit short. Braven Bourne was dialed in enough to pick it off, but he knocked it down at least. Incomplete pass, just as good right now. Fourth and ten for the Wildcats. Ball sits at the fifteen-yard line. Adam Albertini back deep for the Indians. Busman stands inside. His own five. It's a good punt off this time. It's going to bounce. Albertine takes it on the fly. It's a 31. Looking for some room. Cuts the middle of the field across the 40. Now to the 37. Going to be wrapped up in tackle there. So it's going to be first and 10 for the Indians. At 37. 
21. The yard line is going to be a 12-yard return for Albertini. Cross midfield to the 37. I want to make sure everybody, Monday, September 18th, junior high of volleyball at Bartlett, 4 p.m., high school JV football versus Normanton Valley at St. Paul, 6 p.m. on Monday. Tuesday, high school volleyball quad at Northeast, 4 p.m., junior high cross country at Iola, 7th runs at 6 and 8th runs at 6.15. Thursday, September the 21st, high school cross country at Southeast, 4 p.m., Junior High Volleyball Duel versus Northeast at St. Paul. So there's a home volleyball game for everybody. I formation, Carlson at fullback. And Struthers at tailback. Good hard run off the left-hand side by Struthers. Going to be close to a first down. Number 20, Tyler Struthers on the Tyler carry. Struthers on the carry, the young. He's going to be tackled by number 21, Garrett Dallinoff. The junior. Thought he was just sophomore, my bad. Tyler Struthers with a carry. It's going to be first and ten for the inning. Just enough for a first down by Struthers. Nice hole off the left-hand side. As Chandler Bradshaw at left tight end. Easton Dent, left guard. Carlson and Struthers in split-back formation. Bourne still up under center. Up the line of scrimmage they come. Hand off to Struthers. Looking, or Carlson it puts battles down for some good, hard yardage. Nice hard run by Colin Carlson. Side steps a tackler. He's going to gain a about eight on the play. Crosses the 20 down to the 19-yard line. Second down and two for the Indians. 7:02 left to go before half. 40 to nothing. Indians lead. Indians taking an opportunity here to get some guys some rest on the sideline. It's been going hard both ways, especially in this heat. Becca comes back in at left tight end, born up or up under center, split back formation. He's going to run it off the right-hand side, looking for some room. He's going to be knocked down for a loss. Good defensive play by Frankfurt that time. Not fooled at all on the play. He's going to lose about one. Raven Bourne on the carry. He's going to bring up third down and call it a long three. Loss of a yard will be third and three. 626 left to go in the game. 40 to nothing. Indians lead. Bourne comes to the sideline with the play. Going to have to hustle here a little bit. Yeah, Keith Kennedy came off and Tyler Struthers back in now for St. Paul. Born back in from the sideline with the play. Ball is spotted at the 20. The count is on. Born up under center. High formation this time. Struthers at tailback. Pitch out to Struthers left-hand side. He's got two guys out there, and he's going to be wrapped up, knocked down for another loss. Back at the 21-yard line. Going to bring up fourth and five for the Indians. Nowhere to go for Struthers that time. As Doherty comes in the game, Easton Dent goes out. And out Adam Albertini coming in the game for Struthers. Fourth down and five. Five thirty two left to go in the first half. Forty to nothing. Indians lead. Born in the shotgun. Doherty split wide to the right. Albertini set to his left. Born in the shotgun. Stands at the twenty five yard line. Born's gonna keep it this time. Spins away from a tackler. Tries to put his shoulder pad down. He's going to be short of the first down, I believe, by about two yards. So good defensive stand by Frankfurt. It's going to, they're going to get the ball back on down. Kind of quarterback draw there by Bourne. Didn't have enough inning to get to the first down marker. Good defensive stand that time by Frankfurt. First and 10 for Frankfurt. Ball sets at the 18-yard line. 5.08 left to go in the first half. Indians lead 40 to nothing. Gib Carter comes in at nose guard. Looks like Easton Dent, a right defensive end. Keaton Kendi at linebacker. D backs remain the same. Shotgun formation is Busman. Only announced this time it's going to be uh, Shriner with the carry. Going to be ripped down hard, but not until he gains about seven yards. Going to be second down and three. Ball clear up to the 25 yard line. Good game by Frankfurt here. Second down and call it three. 4.48 left to go in the first half. 40 to nothing. Indians lead. Shotgun formation is Busman. Here comes the snap. 
This time Buskin's going to keep it right up the middle. Goes off the left-hand side. He's going to have a first down. He's going to gain about four on the play. A lot of movement in that backfield on that motion. You know, that's a good experience for those younger guys to be in there playing defense, especially on that defensive line, to get used to some of that misdirection and keep an eye on where the ball's at. So it's really nice that they're getting some playing time in here against an offense like that. First and ten, ball sets at 40. Now there's a busman got shook Bustman up, I think, got on shook the up a little bit, didn't even see it. So we're going to be back after this injury timeout. We're going to take a 30-second timeout. Let's St. Paul football on Hot 105. Richie's Drug Store in Erie has been serving the area since 1883 with a strong belief in providing customized care and doing more than just filling prescriptions. Pharmacist Morgan Bunton is now taking appointments for free consultations and sign-up assistance for Medicare Supplement Part D plans that fit your needs. Open enrollment begins October 15th and ends December 7th. Even if you're in a current plan, let Richie's help you determine if there's a better plan to cover your unique needs and prescriptions. Call, click, or stop by Richie's today. Let's get back to the game on your home for St. Paul Indian Sports. Hot 105. Busman goes off the field. He's getting a little help from the coach, so he's a little shaken up on that play. First and 10 after a first down run by him. He's been pretty busy offense and defense the whole game, so he may play a factor in that too. See who they're got in there for quarterback. Looks like Gavin Cornelison. Cornelison? Cornelison in the shotgun. Dollinghouse set to his left. Hands to Dollinghouse. Dollinghouse got some running room to the right-hand side. He's going to gain about six yards on the play. Brought down there by Caleb Pekka. Going to bring up second down and four. As the ball now sets at the 35-yard line. Frankfurt mustering up some strength here on offense. Moving the ball against that Indian defense. Second down and four. 354 left to go in the first half. Indians lead. We're doing nothing. Quarterback for Frankfurt, Connect Cornelison, the freshman, so we'll keep an eye on him. Wide receiver split wide to the left is Schreiner. Darling House carry off the left hand side. Puts your shoulder pad down. Running hard is Darling House this time. Wrapped up for no gain on the play. Keaton Kennedy, Easton Dent, Gibb Carter all get off the bottom of the pile, all underclassmen, so good job by them. Sticking their head in there. We're going to give him a Gain of a yard. It's going to call it third down and three. Hard. Ball sets 36 and a half yard line as they look at the coach at the sideline for the play. Cornelison comes up to the line of scrimmage in the shotgun. Dollinghouse set to his left. And it's going to be handoff. Dollinghouse puts shoulder pad down. He's going to be short of the first down, but not much, just by about a yard. So it's going to bring up a big fourth down and play. Fourth and one for Frankfurt. Yeah, time for the big ball defense. These young guys step up here and make a big stop. That'll give them a lot of confidence if they can do that here. Fourth and short. Fourth and just over a yard. Big defense here. Underclassman up on the ball. Give Carter nose guard. Easton Dent, right defensive end. Keaton Kennedy, left-hand linebacker. Kobe Spielbush, middle linebacker. Caleb Pekka, right linebacker. And Bourne and Albertini are your cornerbacks. Cornelison in the shotgun. Dollinghouse set to his right. Here comes a snap. It's going to be Cornelison, and this time get, er, Grant Hutcherson and Kobe Spielbush wrap him down for a loss. So big defensive well, stand that, that time as... Hutcherson stays home, and Spielbush from that left-hand linebacker position stays home, or middle linebacker position stays home. And that time, it did not work. First and 10 for the Indians take over at the 34-yard line. The Indians got two minutes and 17 seconds left here in the second quarter before halftime. If they get down there to score, that'd be it for the game. If not, we'll go into the second half. So either way, coming up at halftime, we'll have our halftime show which is uh, sponsored by St. Paul Tire and Lube, so we'll visit uh, about some other games that are coming up and how the schedule shakes out at halftime. High formation, Carlson at pullback, Albertini at tailback, handoff to Albertini, left-hand side, looking for some running room, going to be wrapped up after about a five-yard game. Call it a four-yard game, going to bring up second six. 2.08 left to go in the first half. Second down and six, ball across the 30. Five, bring to the 29-yard line. Bourne taking his time, coming in off the huddle. Now the reminder, they're selling tickets. Out of the huddle they come. Carlson a pullback. Albertini a tailback. Bourne up under center. 
Here comes the snap on the second and five. Carlson off the right-hand side. No, I'm sorry, Albertini. That was a beautiful belly option. Albertini into the end zone. He goes touchdown. He had me for a little time. How about Carlson would have had like an eight-yard game? Yeah. And they ran the belly option to the right. Born with a beautiful job of pulling that, reading that end, and pitching that to Albertini late. Albertini down the sideline for a 29-yard touchdown run. One thirty-seven left to go in the first half. Forty-six to nothing. Indians lead. That was a beautiful belly option that time. Yeah, he played that well. Boy, he did. High formation. Struthers at tailback. Carlson at fullback. Born up under center. Struthers into the end zone. He goes. Extra point is good. Tyler Struthers will be back after this 30 second timeout. Let's say call football on Hot 105. The Exchange State Bank is proud to be a member of the St. Paul community. The Exchange State Bank has served the area since 1914 and is committed to go the distance for you. A full-service bank, they offer savings, checking accounts, loan certificates of deposit, and more. They also offer competitive rates on loans and investments, all while giving you the kind of personal service you won't find at bigger institutions. Visit with Bob Conifer at Exchange State Bank in St. Paul, member FDIC, proud sponsor of the St. Paul Indians. Let's get back to the game on your home for St. Paul Indian Sports. Hot 105. So back to Miles Field here in St. Paul. Out to a 48 to nothing commanding lead. 137 left to go in the first half. Timeout sponsor, St. Paul Supermarket. And our kickoff sponsor with Alejandro Team, that football up is Styles Fitness and more. Want to make sure we get in high school football next week at Asksdale. We get to take the road, Mike, and it yep. is a 6 p.m. kickoff again due to the long road trip by the Indians. Alejandro, high drive and kick. Frankfurt retreats, and he is a yard deep in the end zone. So touch back again by Alejandro. Mate, kick, get the lead. Mate. That'll be a touchback. The Wildcats. the Wildcats will take over first and 10 from the 15 yard line. Yeah, six o'clock kickoff next week, Mike. So we'll have to get an early start yeah, on road we'll trip. Take off in the afternoon and have an afternoon drive up to Axtell next week. First and 10 for the Wildcats from their own 15. Be a long ways back home, too. Yeah, well. Gib Carter in a nose guard. Easton Dent right defensive end. Chandler Bradshaw left defensive end. The shotgun formation. Hand off, Dollinghouse, left-hand side. He's got some running room. Going to be knocked out of bounds by Bourne. As we got some St. Paul subs in there. I want to make sure we 21, get... 21, Garrett Dollinghouse on the carry. Justin Struthers in there at the linebacking position. Fourth out of bounds after a gain of five. Justin, just a freshman, 150-pound oh, yeah. freshman is Struthers. Bradshaw, Bradshaw boys on the end, it looks like. Uh, Easton Dance, right. Easton's Dance. over there. Okay, yeah. that's at 84. Shotgun formation. Here comes the snap. Hand off this Dolling House to the right hand side, being chased by Keaton Kennedy. Cuts back to the middle of the field. Ripped down by Caleb Pecka and a good hard hit. But not until he runs for a first down. So it's going to be first and 10 for the Wildcats. Ball now sets at the 27 yard line. 124 left to go in the first half. Change are set. Clock is running. As now Chase Bradshaw comes in at left defensive end and. That's number 61, Mike. 61, Ethan Stone King comes in at nose guard. Wildcats in the shotgun. Schreiner with the ball on the little end around. He's got some running room. Up the middle he goes. He's going to be wrapped up by Struthers, but not until he gains close to a first down. Looks like he's just maybe short of first down. He's going to bring up second and less than a one. So now they're going to give him a first down. So they're going to call it a first down. One minute left to go in the first half. Ball sets at the 37-yard line. Wildcats put the line scrimmage. Two receivers wide to the right. Shotgun formation. It's Cornelson. He's going to keep it. Cuts up the middle. Ankle tackled by Keaton Kennedy. Going to be a short gain on the play. Gain two up to midfield. 44 seconds as Frankfurt hustles back to the huddle. Stone King back in the game at nose guard as him and Gip Carter switching off plays at nose guard. And second six for the Wildcats. Second and call it seven. Ball sets at the 40-yard line. Shotgun formation. Cornelison 
He's going to end around to Shriner, looking for some runner room, cuts back to the middle of the field, and he's going to be wrapped up by Stone King. Stone King makes the tackle. Good tackle. Stays home there at nose guard. Going to be just uh, gonna, uh, right back up the line of scrimmage. Third down, third and less than a yard. 14 seconds left to go. And now they're and going for the first down. down moving the they chain. stop the clock while they get set. Wildcats back up the line of scrimmage. You're going to spike the football, I think, here. And they do spike it. He drops it, and then he spikes it. The clock <laughs> stops. It'll be second down yeah. and 10. Uh, yeah, I think so. Just like right. a fumbled shotgun snap. Spikes the ball, stops the clock, 11 seconds to go in the first half. Indians out to a 48 to nothing lead, and obviously Frankfurt knows if they don't score this ball game's over here at halftime. So the Indians trying to hold on defense and get out of here with an early game on a hot night. Shotgun formation, Corny Olson. Going to be a option. He's going to keep it. He wrapped up. Nowhere to go. East and Dent and... Keaton Kennedy read that all the way, and folks, that's going to be the yeah. ball game. Is it? Ball game here at halftime. Indians come out with a great 48 to nothing victory. We'll be back after this two minute timeout. Here to St. Paul Indian Mass Ball and Hot 105. Jerry and Kevin Winter, along with the entire crew at KW Trucking, are proud to bring you this broadcast of the St. Paul Indians. KW Trucking specializes in heavy equipment and heavy truck repair, late model rebuilding, and body work from large trucks down to cars. They also have a full-service machine shop and a great selection of both used cars and trucks. See Jerry or Kevin at KW Trucking or call 449-2763. Prairie Mission Retirement Village in St. Paul provides services to people in their retirement years. Prairie Mission meets a wide range of needs from health care to assisted living and independent living apartments to elderly daycare services, including transportation. With our 7 to 7 dining, residents get up when they desire, eat when and what they want, and continue to live a full and happy life. Your family deserves the best in retirement care, so give Prairie Mission Retirement Village a call today for more information at 620-449-2400 or visit them at 242 Carroll Street in St. Paul. Exchange Insurance Agency is a proud supporter of the St. Paul Indians. Give us a call, visit our website, or stop in to let us do the comparison shopping for you and get a free no-obligation quote. Offering all types of insurance, including auto, motorcycle, home, farm, crop, watercraft, life, and health. Medicare supplements, and all lines of commercial or business insurance. Serving the four-state area since 1964, Exchange Insurance in St. Paul is here to provide you with what you need, want, and should expect from your insurance agency. St. Paul Tire and Lube, locally owned and operated, offers the small town convenience you love without the big city prices. They offer free pickup and drop off in St. Paul, so you're not left stranded while your vehicle is in the shop. They offer tire repair and also offer oil change and new tires. When you find yourself in need of new tires or an oil change and need to keep going, visit with St. Paul Tire and Lube, 620-449-2323. St. Paul Tire and Lube, proud supporters of the St. Paul Indians. Let's get back to the game on your home for St. Paul Indian Sports, Hot 105. So welcome back to Miles Field here in St. Paul. Indians come out victorious 48 to nothing. And, Mike, that is a football field, and we are playing football, not basketball. <laughs> well, you know what? It happened. You had a long been, week. It's been, been a long, long week. couple of weeks. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, but <laughs> either way, it's a football field. A great game put together by the Indians. Our halftime sponsor tonight is St. Paul Tire and Lube. Thank everybody up at St. Paul Tire and Lube for our halftime sponsorship. We're also going to roll right into our post-game sponsorship, KW Trucking at St. Paul. And, man, I've failed to mention one time our title sponsor, Farmers Bank. we got to make sure we get the title sponsor in there several times here. Farmers Bank, and always great support of all the local businesses here in town, supporting all the athletic, academic, athletic, everything that goes on at the school here in St. Paul. Yeah, we got a lot of things to keep track of, and... We also track a sponsor as part of our job, so we're going to have to get better at that. But we do appreciate the Farmers Bank and, and uh, St. Paul Tire and Lube for halftime, KW Trucking. We're also going to mention our derailed commodity player of the game, I think, to get things started here at halftime or the end of the game, whatever you want to call it. But as far as I'm concerned, Dan, and you're probably going to agree with me maybe, is our derailed commodity player of the game from my end of the, of the score sheet is going to be Alejandro Mate with those touchback kicks. I think everyone but one, he had one that was returned that was questionable, could have been a touchback. And, rest of them are all at least 
yard or two deep in the end zone and one clear out of the back of the end zone. So gave uh, Frankfurt really a big hill to climb with bad field position the whole game. So Alejandro gets my player of the game, though. Hi, I'm right there with you, Mike. It's a heck of a weapon to have, and uh, um, he's really coming around. And that's quite a weapon when you can pin the other team back to the 15-yard line start every way, every, every uh, kickoff. Post-game sponsor KW Trucking. Player of the game is Alejandro Monte, Mike and I. So we want to we want to uh, congratulate him and right. thank D. Real Tomato for our, our Player of the Game sponsorship. Yep. A halftime here, St. Paul. We're at halftime and the post game early kickoff. So boy, we could could jump in seven fourteen. There's just a lot of ball games just now well, starting. I'm in time for supper. I'm going to go down a few scores if I could look them up. I think everybody else is just now getting started. So we may have to talk a little yeah. bit in a minute about some of the other games being played, not have much information on scores because they're just now underway. But I can go ahead and give you some stats for St. Paul in the first half, of the, actually in the game. The Brave and Born the senior quarterback showed up again, had a big night passing the ball down the field, had 108 yards passing on six attempts, so pretty good average for Braven on the, the passing side. He also ran the ball for 23 yards. Adam Albertini, 42 yards on the ground rushing and also had a touchdown. Braven Bourne had two touchdowns passing, by the way, and one on the ground rushing, so three touchdowns for Bourne, a touchdown for Adam Albertini on 42 yards on four carries. Colin Carlson had two carries for 18 yards. Keaton Kennedy, two carries for 35. One of those was a rushing touchdown. And Tyler Struthers had two carries for nine yards on the night. Receiving-wise, Brendan Doherty, 86 yards. Big play Brendan. We'll have to start calling him. He had a touchdown reception from Bourne for 40 yards in the first quarter, another one in the second quarter for 39 yards, 86 yards on three catches for Brendan Doherty. Caleb Peck had one catch for 12 yards, and Kobe Spielbush, first time he's been on the receiving column here, one catch for 10 yards in the ball game. Overall, good job by the whole offense, and especially on the defensive side of the ball, give them a lot of credit too because they really did a good job tonight as well. A really good job put together by the Indians, especially on the defensive side of the ball. I thought tonight, uh, really, the Indians' defense has played well. Um every game this year, so I've been impressed with that. Look for them to continue to keep melding as a team and get get better every week. Next week, a long road trip, so we'll see how we react to a long road trip. Uh, Mike, as next week, Axtell game starts at 6 p.m. I want to make sure everybody joins us for a 6 p.m. kickoff on the road to Axtell, and then right after that, I believe we roll right into district play, right, Mike? Right into district play, and we're back at home. We actually have quite a few home games this year for a change from last year. Last year, we spent all the season on the road, it seems like, and this year, got a little bit of a home field advantage, maybe. I think we got five home games this year here at uh, Miles Field, so that'll be nice for the Indians. However, not until they get past the big, long road trip to Axtell next week, which will be another non-conference game from a league that's far, far away, and some new look on an offense or a defense to be studying up for this week. But I know Coach Watrick will be working hard in practice and have the boys ready to go. Uh, player of the game sponsor, D-Rail, come on. On Alejandro Mate, the kicker for the Indians, quite the weapon with touchbacks here tonight, all except one. And uh, in the last two games, he's had all touchbacks except two. So yeah. uh, he's on a roll to keep that continue on and getting better to this American football. So halftime sponsor, St. Paul Tire and Lube, we want to thank them for for uh, the halftime sponsorship and our post-game sponsors, KW Trucking here in St. Paul. And our title sponsor is Farmers Bank, St. Paul uh, Hepler and or Stark and Walnut. I want to thank them for our title sponsorship, Joe and Josh and all the gang at Farmers National, or Farmers Bank, excuse me, not National Bank, Farmers Bank. Mike, what else you got? I think that's about wrapping it up for tonight. Everybody can get a chance to tune in to some of the other ball games or go maybe watch one of them. we got to in here early and out of here early tonight, but uh, next week be a long drive. and hope to, If you can't join us, make sure you tune in and listen. at 6 o'clock kickoff next week from Axtell, and uh, we'll look forward to bringing that to you just like we will all season long. Indian has tried to continue their winning ways as they travel up to Axtell. Mike and I will load up, make a long road trip. Be glad to bring you next week's game at 6 p.m. So everybody join us. I want to thank everybody for joining us tonight. Thank Mike for uh, being my color man and my statistician and helping me out here. Really appreciate it and uh, have a lot of fun this year. Four, uh, third game already of the season. Next week will be the fourth game. And then after that, we roll right into the all-important district play. So every game just keeps gaining importance. One thing I wanted to mention is nice to come out of these games is in, uh, Indians has come out relatively injury-free so far this year. Yeah, yeah, that's true, and that's really important, especially as we get into the heart of the season and get ready to start district play. We'll hope everyone can stay healthy. Thank everybody for joining us here tonight. Make sure you join us. 6 p.m. kickoff, Axtell next week. 
Indians come out victorious here, 48 to nothing as Frankfurt comes to town. Indians go out to 3 and 0. Join us next week on the radio at 6. You've been listening to St. Paul Indian Football on Hot 105. Good evening, St. Paul Indian fans. It's time for Indian Football here on Hot 105. Tonight's game brought to you by Farmers Bank with three locations to serve you in St. Paul, Walnut, and Hepler. Your pregame brought to you by Richie's Drugs. Your halftime brought to you by St. Paul Tire and Lube. And your postgame brought to you by K&W Trucking. Tonight's game also brought to you by Exchange State Bank, the Prairie Mission Retirement Village, and Exchange Insurance. Get ready for St. Paul Indian Football with Dan and Mike on the call here on Hot 105.